And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Monday. It is Monday. It's Monday. Sorry to interrupt you, Chuck D. It's just time to start the bonfire. No problem, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That is Big J Okerson. Damn. Doing a hell of a Chuck D. Huh. Huh. Hard. You got to talk like you just got the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> I can't just breathe. took a kick to the chest. Just went off a ramp, put my roller blade. <laughs> and my wrist protector went in my rib cage. <laughs> Here's my ticket. My chest feels wicked. <laughs> I can't breathe. Someone please help me. I got so much trouble on my mind. Who's loose? I feel like I just missed the... Oh, God damn it. I meant to say I missed the... I missed the pedal of my bike. And my stomach went on the crossbar. Hard. <laughs> just like that. Just... Like, uh, it's uh, new, not live, Which, but new, but definitely new. <laughs> People are turning on us for it. But it's new content. Uh, I mean, that's my favorite one was someone was like, these lazy assholes. <laughs> You're know. like, oh, you mean uh, we're going out of our way to make sure that we get a show done? Yeah. We, I'm not just, to... I'm not, we didn't take Monday off to, just to nap. No, and by the way, also, I'd like to point out anyone thinks... We're lazy. Yeah. We had... I mean, we are lazy, but not we had, that lazy. I believe, and I might be wrong about this. Okay. I believe we had eight weeks of uh, eight shows. Yeah, we had four weeks of vacation. We took off two. We took off... Uh, out of the four weeks, we took one week. Yeah. So one out of our four vacation. Yeah, we should really, you know... Now, do we do show prep? Yeah, sometimes. And sometimes, you know... We, we do show prep. We talk on the phone. Yeah, like little Gabby ladies. We text... We you come over, lot. we play video games. It's video very games are good. Vidya. And to hang out, since we have no callers, we are noon but not alive, we have one of our favorite guests hanging out with us here. Yeah, I mean, official, I mean, definitely a counselor. Definitely a counselor, without a doubt. Except right. he's got the hat of a longshoreman. You also really do have camp counselor energy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's camp, bro. What do you guys want to do today? Archery? Someone's got to keep the kids Did safe. Did you guys know that the Western Sioux used to live on these same exact lands? You and know this that. week, we're going to live off the land just like Dave's brave. Let's go <laughs> sand some oars. Yeah. Mike Fenoya, everybody. Yeah. Mike Fenoy Chio. Good to be back, friends. Friends, amigo. We just did hand explosions. Part of the fish army with him and Andy Fiore. Oh, oh I... Jesus. Merkface <laughs> got too ramped up. We got to start the episode with something that we haven't even talked about yet, but this is great, and I ha and we've been waiting for Merkface to talk about this, and we didn't even bring it up on the live show. Oh, I just, before we get to that, I just want to point yeah. out that my favorite thing is, like, uh, we haven't had both of them in studio since no, the Jesus. run-in. Fiore, Fiore the was in the middle of a... episode of Bonfire ever was the Fiore was off. in a breakup? No, since Fiore was in a breakup, and then oh, the first yeah. person he sees is Mike going, hey, friends! <laughs> yeah, when uh, when, when Merkface got his chest shattered by his ex-girlfriend. How? Yeah. How how the recent? Same chest, was, like, the same minutes. chest she was like leaning on in minutes. How she, recent was that you break? You don't have on. to emphasize hold it. On. Fenoya, hold on. Yeah, she's laying there with him on her chest, and she goes, "I'm gonna break this thing." <laughs> you know what I feel like doing? Snapping this dude's chest. <laughs> That's not far off. Uh, minutes, minutes, minutes. Or would you say under thirty? Under thirty. Yeah. Oh. Fenoya's cut was fresh, so it was almost like it's almost like being shot after a car accident. You're like oh, dizzy, yeah. and and then you're like. And you're just like, oh, Merc down. Yeah. And remember, then your friend shows up. Remember how good she smelled? Shut up. <laughs> Did you still have her smell on you as you ran into Fenoya? She was there. <laughs> there. She were there together. They were there the, together. She had her smell on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually Lysol wiping her smell off of she was her going, The timeline right. went, we broke up. Yeah. And then she was like, we're both going to the same area to do spots. She goes, well, should we just go? Oh, I goes, Christ. yeah. So we get on the subway. And we transfer to get on like the the uh, the A train, and there's Fenoya, just like, hey buddies, yeah, yeah, dude, hey, friends. It's so weird. Like I'm not, I don't see people I know a lot. Well, it's how all would strangers. you? And how would you know that was gonna happen? But it's just great because you're such the positive part. You know, what I mean, like where another person might have just been a simple like, uh, like, hey guys, what's up? Where you? Where you? Where like, you? I would have saw him and I'd been like, hey, what's up, everybody? Andy, you all right? <laughs> you look like you're in pain. I did, thought you, I, did you do something to Andy? Yeah. You, know, you I just love... hurt Andy? <laughs> yes, he, does, talking yes, to he her. does hurt me, Dan yeah. Soder. Technologically speaking, he hurts my Facebook profile. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you know, they got real. Take me and Mike were doing a little <laughs> act out, but Andy brought up the fact that I've uh, befriended... He does hurt me. Andy. Merkface has a lot of new friends on Facebook because of me. Because <laughs> yeah. he leaves his profile open in the office. <laughs> Do you know what's uh, great? Is uh, Fenoya, 0 to 60 Fenoya? He goes 0 to 60? 
Oh, right. Yeah. That's she what was, I said. That's what I said. Mike's, what? Mike's such an interesting like dichotomy of like. I could see it in his eyes. Hippie fish guy, and then also he's like, "What are we doing? We rumbling?" Like he's like, he gets Wait like that. a minute. I'm it, not. This doesn't mean you fighting. It was just a funny thing that Mike sent me though when he was going when he listened to the episode of us talking about him running into. Remember, we went on a nice tangent of like hilarious things you would say about them being a couple still yeah, and yeah, you don't yeah. know. And one of them, I was like, can I just take a picture of you guys? I want to just send it to my wife and show them how a couple should be. And he was like, he's like, he goes, he goes, ah, man, was like, you taking like a shot at my marriage? I'm like, no. no I, I, I sent it to that. both of you. And I was like, that was that cut way too deep or something like that. But I was breaking balls. Totally. No, you were, you were somewhere stabbing, you were stabbing a wood floor somewhere. <laughs> and listen, as I was this, holding my hand over a stove. As a member of the zero to 60, uh, as, as a member of the zero to 60 crew, I'll tell you this. There was definitely like some like breathing through the nose as you're sending the text. Where you're like, <sighs> "All right, guys, now you're taking my marriage." You know, was, was, delete, delete, delete. Yeah, delete, 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 you, delete. you select all delete, and you're like, "I would probably just forget this motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, "Okay." Hey, and you're like, you know what? Add a "Hey, dude" in the front with an exclamation point. Mm. Oh, okay, you're trying to cut down the bone. Okay, okay you want to cut down the me and my fine wife? Okay, it's fine. We have a marriage, you piece of shit. Same same and you know what? Select all. <laughs> What do I do? Do I add an oh, emoji? Wait, wait. Hey, friendos. Hey, <laughs> amigos. I found what you said to be then, pretty cloudy on guys, my sunny day. You got Now, here's the thing. You're much more, though. Like, Mike needs a real, like, uh, like puma in a cage, like, walking it off process to go back from 60 to zero. You are very easy to break back down to zero. I break right at 60. It's like running the 40-yard dash. You hit 60, and then you could be like, Soder, I think the guy. I, do my favorite is seeing it in tweet. Form as the best. Like you, if you didn't have, if we didn't have to have social media, I wouldn't, I, have, I wouldn't it. have it. I wouldn't have it. And if we didn't have to have it, you shouldn't have it. Yeah, <laughs> because <clears throat> it's such a clear ball break. Sometimes, You're like, all right, dude, you gonna fucking this that? Yeah. And guy's like, I love you, man. I am so obviously kidding. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I, only got like, I only got like six hours sleep last night. Well, you know what's fucked up about day. that? It is really is like... I see you in billions in wardrobe just fucking sweating through your yeah, banker they're, suit. They're like, they're like, Dan, you're on set. I go, yeah, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Listen here, Murphalicious. Yeah. Like some shit I'll slam your cunt head into a door. <laughs> like, Jesus. I will murder you like Kingpin on Daredevil. Yeah, I, I will smash your head in a door in I front don't of really your think the Niner sucks, Soder. I was only kidding. Yeah, Jesus God, Christ. Dude, it was a joke. And I'm like... I went, I went, I went zero to five hundred the other day when I saw the guy step on the dog's back. Yeah, guy was. How is he gonna change that stupid animal? One of the, uh, <laughs> you have I'm to break him. You have to break him first. Guy stepped on the back of a dog because it wouldn't sit, and I got in his face and kind of fucking. That's exactly what it did. I'll tell you what. I got, I got four. <laughs> I don't think you understand. You want to get something? Oh, dog. dog is man's oh, best friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> Looks like you ain't being What's too friendly. What's his name? Oh, his name's Noodles? You're doing oh. that to something named Noodles. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, pal. That's exactly it. Get your foot off the dog. Mike's too willing to save these dogs. The dog he's talking about, by the way, had a belt around his arm, and he was fucking <laughs> a needle hanging out of the middle of his fucking little paw. Yeah. He's shooting between. He's shooting between the toes now because we're the only place he can find living veins. Get your foot off the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to you want to kick something? Do all you dreadlocked white homeless kids want a piece of me? All black, huh? I'm guessing you're not Johnny Cash fans. <laughs> Let's dance. Uh, yeah, that's 0 to 60 every time in your head it, you want it to be like that, where it's cool, but instead it's like me getting woken up from a nap and reading the wrong tweet, and I'm like, fuck you! Fenoy's East Village, Chaz Bronson. Yeah. Uh, I'm the low-risk vigilante hey. of the East Side. Where are you going with that dog? <laughs> I noticed you put your foot on the dog's back. Dog doesn't like it. Dog, dog Guess what? This dog don't like it either. <laughs> dog doesn't want to sit. You might as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to show you how to sit. I don't think you... I'm going to make you sit. I'm going to make you lay down. Didn't you actually give him the, like, come put your foot on me? Yeah. Make me sit? Yeah. I love it. I said, kick me. I ain't going anywhere, motherfucker. Guy goes, all right, dude. My His buddy goes, outside. you're ignorant, bro. You're ignorant. And I was like, I'm ignorant. And I had a bottle of fucking apple cider vinegar in my hand. Imagine if that's what I used to fucking whack a, whack a fucking street what, punk What if you gave head. him a, if you gave him a departed... 
with the fucking glass where you go, you go, apple cider vinegar, what's that for you? Loose butthole? My boyfriend, he has a loose butthole. <laughs> Brace the bottle. I like the idea of just like biting the top off and throwing it in their eyes. <laughs> no! It's, it's vinegar! It's, ah! it's, it's vinegar, it burns! <laughs> you start I, frothing at the mouth. <laughs> I immediately thought of him just grabbing an old rag and just thumbing it in and then Molotov cocktailing him. <laughs> roll it, takes the like, dog. Hey. The best part of it is the dog just bit Mike's fucking finger off. <laughs> That's all right. It's One so day we'll though, become friends. It's because Fenoya actually has good reasons to go zero for 60 and means just being subtly annoyed. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Vecchio, Vecchio and slamming cabinets in the uh, fucking kitchen, so let me go ape shit. I go zero to 60 for very dumb reasons. Like if I'm walking and a girl's texting and I'm like, I miss a train because she was texting yeah, in front of me. Yeah, that's a real zero I to 60. What are some other, some other zero to 60? Uh, walking up the stairs of a subway with someone's on the phone. I want to slap the phone down. Oh, man, how great. And y'all do be. the right thing. Can we just go phone slapping one day? Why don't you just go around them? Let's do it. What? Why don't you just go... Oh, what do you mean? Did I say a crazy response to that? Why don't you just I go just around zero to them? 40. Yeah, because you like, got to respect... I could go around them, but why don't they just go faster? <laughs> 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 Can we do that as zero to 60 talk every time through uh, Yeah. Hey, baby, uh, you like that shit? Yeah, zero to 60... Uh, when you hold the door for someone and they don't say thank you, yep. I love screaming your welcome angrily at them. Giving change to a homeless person that doesn't say thank you. No, it bothers me. Bothers me. Absolutely. Zero to 60. Right. I, last what night, I had one that annoyed me. me. A guy came over and did a whole yap about, uh, he heard me talking about Carson Wentz. And he's like, you got the best quarterback? And I saw a homeless conversation come, but I'm like, I'll engage him for a minute. Because Carson Wentz is that good. You could always get me on fucking Eagles talk. They yeah. know how to get me. <laughs> this is new. We, started, we are recording this before this week. Who do they play this week? They are playing the Skins. So they play the Redskins. They're coming off a guys, big win. I took you in a parlay. So. Also, so I, parlay everyone's going to be upset, and I promise you, Wednesday's live show, we will talk about it because what we will be missing, and we're going to be telling everybody on the live show. Kaepernick starting for the San Francisco 49ers. That, yeah. also, and then also besides that is tomorrow, on the Today Show, I believe, is the date, and we could double fact check this here, I believe Corey Feldman's hitting back to the Today Show for his second performance. Mm, okay. He's doing the encore. Okay. He's doing another performance with the Angels, the whole So thing. Wednesday's live show might have to be another Feld Dog episode. Just buckle up. And you know it. Listen, if you're a camper and you listen to this show, you know, as doctorates in Feld Dog... We have to go deep every time that this happens. We're like the CDC in Atlanta. We have to know what's going on. Yeah. We have to stay on top of it. I'm with you. Yeah, we're how do you not? We're an epidemic might break. He's, He's fucking going. so entertaining. And we're back on his team. We're you back on his be. team totally. And I think we're going to try. We want to try to get him for the live show. I don't know what's going to happen, but... Yeah. Jacob isn't Thanks here because it's a high holiday. <laughs> high Happy high holiday. holiday. He's fasting. He, is yeah. he fasting? Uh-huh. He's just doing push-ups. He's just in a plank for the whole just holiday. Shredding up. <laughs> he planks. He planks for the holiday. I'm holding. Use my back as an altar. Holding. Holding. Oh, dude. Fucking Fenoya. I know you love this because you like the Russian accent thing. I don't like the Russian accent. But when a free bird. When our. Uh, <laughs> it totally is. When uh, what you call it, when our super of our building. Yeah. Was going through uh. He had a conversation with me and Soder in the same day. Well, we talked about Fino this, about separating, like, the people yeah. not separating Yeah, yeah we were talking but about the guys. That Fenoya, Fenoya. But when uh, Fenoya said the thing, like, he had a conversation with me, he goes, he goes you guys recycle, you do your thing properly. And Mike's like, thanks for separating soup can from load. And that made me laugh. Because <laughs> he was saying he has to grab condoms and shit. Yeah, Dude, plus that he, third gets world. In, he gets into our trash cans with, like, fucking... Like, what, sewer operator fucking Yeah, gloves? he's going to inseminate a horse by hand. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, watch He opens buddy. up every single watch bag of trash. Hold this on. poor guy uh, opens up every single bag of trash and separates the fucking nah, garbage from the recycling. Because they get, yeah, they get fined. I didn't know he personally gets he fined. He personally gets yeah. fined. He brings the people on. He essentially and, and kicked said, people out of the building yeah, for doing guys, it. Those guys are like, we'll do what we can, man, but I can't put every single soda bottle on the thing. I've come across condom. Yeah, but you got to understand when you. Goes, I am grown ass man. <laughs> yes, we did. That's, we, that's how yeah, we got we to did. the fucking yeah, uh, Russian, Russian Def Jam. Russian Def Jam. But he, um, yeah, man, that's like w Americans bitch about like immigrants taking our jobs, and you're like, this guy's just hands yeah. deep in some shit. In, yeah, in twenty two year old college kid shit. Literally like, condoms. Literally up, their jizz. I threw up. I came and I just put a dead cat in the trash because that's <laughs> well, hilarious. Oh, by the way, you're right about that. Like, I didn't can. think about that. Look, there's probably puke. I mean, these guys have like we're gone on weekends. Mm -hmm. 
But there's young people in that building that have ragers. Well, apparently the people next to us, they crank their music oh, up, but it man. never sounds like a party. But Christine texted me the other day and said she uh, heard them plowing. You really, Christine? You heard your neighbors fucking for the first time? Yeah, it's two young chicks, right? Yeah, through our, uh, through our bedroom wall. Yeah. So you started I never seen... loving it. Oh, really? I saw them. Oh, that's awesome. Because then great. you like... I had you, got, that... you have like a cup against the wall? <laughs> I, had, I had that in college where... Uh, we didn't meet each other until the second semester in my apartment building, mm-hmm. but I heard her fucking one time, and I was like, get it, girl. And, you know I the bummer. <laughs> and then she, apparently, when I met her, I was like, hey, nice to meet you. And then the first one of the first things she said, she's like, well, I've heard you before. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I heard you hooking up. I was like, I've heard you hooking up. And I thought for a second, I was like, were you going to hook Are we going to hook up? Are we going to hook up? Break down that, Mr. Gorbachev. Break down that wall. <laughs> um, Christine, though, the ulti- in the ultimate sadness of something like this, which I, as a man, fully get, uh, she flicked Bean before she heard it, so it was a wash. Ah. Couldn't even use it. Yeah, it's a bummer. Oh, bummer. You know what's funny is there was a there was a apartment complex I lived in uh, in college, another apartment complex where the girl above me was like a just a coke maniac yeah. which was, and the, you just hear her <laughs> fuck like that's that you of yay like in Arizona just like my dad sent me here from San Diego and I'm from Carlsbad but now I just do a shit ton of blow and you just hear her getting railed and then one time I woke up and I was when I was working at Bed Bath and Beyond so mm-hmm. this was right before I moved to New York and I had to wake up early to go unload trucks and I heard her having sex and I was like well got a couple probably, extra minutes yeah why don't I just <laughs> yeah. knock one out to the real life thing and then I've I knocked it out to the people at the hotel room next to me doing it for that's what I'm saying I, but it sucks if you jerk off and then you're like oh well hold on now I don't want to as I start and then all of a sudden out of nowhere I just hear like oh <laughs> oh <laughs> And it took me completely out of it. The I was guy? Like, hey, the guy real big? I wrote a joke about it. it was, I was started doing stand-up at that point where I said, said it like she literally was eating. It sounded like a zombie uh, attack was happening. <laughs> Just one zombie kept coming after it because the guy was like, oh, oh. Do you love it? Oh, God, I love it so much. <laughs> and it overpowered her. And I was like, yeah, uh, stop. Does anybody, anybody yeah, here a, a, a <laughs> sex talker? A good sex talker? I'm a talker. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I talk a little. I talk a little. I like for the girl to talk. The best so do I. I yeah. try to engage the girl. Yes. Christine, then she goes, I don't know. I feel silly. You know what it yeah. is, though? A relationship is different because in a relationship, you see more aspects to yourself, like as opposed to when you just start hooking up with someone. It gets, I think it's easier to talk when you're just hooking up with someone. The best hookup I've ever had because she was a talker was the British rapper. <laughs> Because oh. she was, because she oh, was she spitting talked, bars. She talked in British. Oh, uh, that British accent. No, that's Why are you having sex? You're so deep in me, Fanny. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love how deep you be going with your little, with your highness. <laughs> <laughs> you are certainly flapping these skins, mate. No, but she was really, she was really hot, and for her to say like it, to be, she was such a talker that you're like, man, it's like when someone moans when they're eating. You're like, you're really enjoying this. That's just what it yeah, is when they're yeah. talking. You're like, well, you just got. It's the something. girl. I mean, the girl trick they all know is make the noise, talk a little shit. You want if you want it to be over. Are you ready for it to be to rap? Yeah, talk a little shit, make some noise, and compliments. But she still is well, uncomfortable yapping with me. I try to get her to. But I, listen, I'm a piece of shit. So I start going on tangents of just fictitious shit. I'm like, you want two black guys to come in and fuck you up? And like, we're in an avalanche. And I, I look at her and she's kind of like, what? Like, I lead you a, set the I building lead, on fire right now. I lead a huh? new. I need a. I lead a Newfoundland into the room. He's just there to sit in the corner and watch, but he eats a T-bone, so it's super noisy. You uh, like I, that? I make so much hypothetical like, sh- and she just kind of. Like, she kind of like. I'm like, I'm like, you want fucking black guys to come in and fuck you in your mouth? And she'll, be, she'll be like, and she'll, she'll go like, no. I'm like, I'm like, just say you do, though, for yeah. this. She's like, ah, what I really would like is for you and me to go away. <laughs> and just talk. I'd like I'm to like, get just married. Hold me. Yeah. <laughs> girls, uh, yeah, that's how, you, that's how girls want you to dirty talk. You're like, I want to meet your friends, and I want them to become my friends. Oh, God. And she's like, I'm coming so hard. Yeah. The, best is, the best is reality chat in the middle of it, though. I'm like, you want it your ass so bad, don't you? And she'll be like, not tonight. Yeah. I'm like, just... <laughs> Stop. Say it, yeah. and then we'll do figure out. And you're gonna pin my ass, and I don't want it tonight. Yeah. It's never gonna just. I'm never gonna just 
ram it in your ass. That's never happened. Yeah, I yeah, think there's also the fear of like because I know that like you talk shit and make noises to make guys come. Like I get in my head like if I start talking shit, Jay's gonna think I want it over with. Yeah. Oh. Wow. wow. Okay. So uh, no you know, fingers. there's like an element of that too. You go. So do you want it? She goes. I really want it. <laughs> do you but really do want you, me to want it? Do you really want it? She's <laughs> like, I really want it. Let's do it. Oh, this you is coming off. It. I talked so much shit last night. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You did talk a little shit last night. You got a little better talking shit. What's your fucking sleep number? But you don't even yeah. gauge. <laughs> Roll over yeah. to my side. It's a Sometimes I ask a question and I... And I Pump away, just waiting for an answer. I get annoyed. Gives. I go zero to sixty like that. By if the I way, don't get the answer, I'm like, you hear me? Jesus. You fucking hear me? I am terrified. <laughs> for, for, uh, I you know what? Just, we just want to say, I'm like, you want me to put it all over your face? And yeah. she just doesn't answer. And I'm like, like this. Goes, I said, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> dipshit. Be so funny. You want it all over your face? <laughs> Box her ears quick. But she then she responds like this. She goes, "Oh, what? What were you saying?" I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just so so deep. You were deep dicking me so much. Right? <laughs> fantasizing oh. about two black guys. Why don't you talk about that? Sorry, I was just in a I was in a swamp of dick and I just couldn't hear you. <laughs> I went to a, I went to a dorm room once to buy weed and I, there was a girl in the room getting plowed and the whole place is cracking up laughing and she walks out and it's my best friend's girlfriend. Yeah, cheating on him with a dude oh, in college. What? Ooh, yeah, dude, shit. it was fucking crazy. There's a bunch were, of guys in the, in the room chanting like also. One, two, yeah, there's such a and I'm waiting for like an ounce of weed and I'm sitting there like wow this chick's getting fucking railed huh and fucking she walks out hair fucking askew she sees me right away is your best friend chick yeah that's did you, did you, did you because if it wasn't a queen he found out before I could have the chance this is pre you know this is what 97 so I didn't had no way to like get a hold of him if it I was ride right to dawn <laughs> if it was an acquaintances chick uh, that's, that'd have like, been a great yeah. move to be like you want them to find out or not? Yeah. Uh, that's real yeah, casting couch do. logic. I mean, she was screaming. Dude, scre- it was Man, you amazing. Know, you know, what did you look like? Huh? Black fella? No, you no, know, it's just your average. Guy. Give him the biz. Your average college dude. Not only that, but she's screaming out. She's like, my boyfriend never does it like this. <laughs> I hate him and his best friend. His stupid best friend. <laughs> oh, God, no one will ever find out about this. <laughs> no one will ever find out. God, I want to fuck forever. It was uh, one of those amazing moments where, like, he walked out high and everybody. I'm so. Oh, yeah, it was him amazing. and all his friends are a bunch of fish queefs. <laughs> oh God, you guys get it. You like string cheese incident. <laughs> oh fuck me. Oh, I like getting that O A R dick. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Stretch, stretch me out like an O A R song. <laughs> it's a crazy game of poker. <laughs> I, uh, stretch me out. <laughs> there, um, I. I like getting finger blasts to Wilco. I've had. Uh, dude, I, I met this really cute girl and we got drunk. This was before I, I got sober. Well, clearly. Are you, are you just having a breakdown right now? <laughs> I saw, guys, you guys know. Know. The reason we're not live today is I'm in rehab. There's a reason I was five minutes late. It's because that's how long it took me to shake my hangover. Uh, but I met I met this girl and we, we uh, went out on a date and she came to the cellar with me and we got hammered. And we and she would kind of talk shit when she'd get drunk. Because I hung out with her a couple times and every time we get drunk she'd get pretty ornery like and so I was like, oh, sex with her is going to be great. And she was really cute. And we started hooking up. And I was just doing some simple talking, just like, a, oh, is, is that you like that? And then in the middle of it, she goes, oh, boy, we got a talker. <laughs> she just yelled that out. Wow. In the middle That's of That's amazing. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> Sorry any, about that. I told anymore. you. I told you a girl one time that I hooked up with <laughs> fucking did a, a thing to me where it was so, she called it, did it, and it absolutely worked. It bummed me out, too. What? Was, uh. I was like, uh, oh wait, I think you've told me. This probably story. she just yeah. goes. She was like, you ready to come? I was like, yeah. And she just goes, eh, eh. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, you fucking. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm like, that's pretty fucking. You <laughs> all. <laughs> it's, like it's like one of the code words in uh, code words in Westworld. <laughs> You're like sleep a dream, let's sleep. And <laughs> come a powerful come. <laughs> <laughs> if I yeah, if men knew that, you'd just be walking up and you'd just be walking into a restaurant like I have some so and the girls like <laughs> 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 and men had that. What power. you just do? You just go in there and you go. She's a goo swish. That's all. That's all. Cat calling would be. Hey, lady. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, I mean, women don't have that. You guys want relationship stuff. That's- no, I, I told Jay, like, the hottest thing to me is with the, he does sexually if I'm on top, and he goes, stop, stop, stop. Oh. Like, he doesn't want to, and then I'm like, 
Okay, yeah, and it's not even like really meant to be sexy, but it's like, oh, stop, stop, <laughs> like I'm going to get you. Stop, 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 stop. No. <laughs> Look at the fucking smile on his face right now. Yeah. I'm wondering if I've ever faked it. I don't think so. You've never faked a stop, stop, stop? No, I don't think so. No, it's so no. genuine. It's like, I don't want to come yet. Oh. Yeah. I go, up, 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 up. <laughs> That's my I go stop 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 and I and I give her like side ass slaps to yeah. like, him you tap out yeah. for a second yeah. tap 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 yeah. you have me in a dick Kimura <laughs> tap, 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 tap. I always take a second and then I can go right back just gonna let it go away you for a second you take a deep breath I just put my hands on their shoulder like a <laughs> like, like a male influence from yeah, I stop them right down on my dick and I go that'll do pig <laughs> 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 Don't move. <laughs> Stop now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you just put him down. I go. That's freeze tag. <laughs> um, great. No, I, uh, I, yeah. If that, that that is my yeah, that, that she does like that. I really do a really crusty. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do those. <laughs> I really do. A I throw those out. I do. I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm on the bottom, too, I really become the bitch of it, though. I do give, like, I'm all, like, noises, because I know that I do know she likes that. <laughs> yeah. I talk, but then I try to drift off at the end of the sentence. I'm just like, oh, my God. It's <laughs> like, never even finish it. No, oh, we got to go to Costco oh, God, and buy it. Is, is there anybody, I mean, there's people that hate talking, right? I, dude, I don't know. Like, you watch on porn, and it's, it's like the, the, the and narrative. The, dude. the narrative in porn, it's getting out of hand. You know what I mean? Like, when a chick's like, oh, my God, are you enjoying that tight 18-year-old snatch your stepdaughter's Wet pussy, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about when they yeah. say that, shit and it's like I don't watch right, that shit. Relax, like you know what's happening to you. Congratulations, you know. Yeah. I like noises straight up, but I like talking with my girl. Christine, what's the worst thing a dude said? To, I hope it's me, but what's the worst thing a dude said to you sexually ever? Jay's. Not By the way, funny. I forgot to tell you, I have herpes. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that was enduring. No, it wasn't during. Dor no, oh yeah. During is like that'd a, be weird if it was that. I get weirded out with the daddy shit. I know some girls love it. Uh, really, oh, yeah, I, I think I maybe like just because I have my own father issues, that I'm kind of like, let's just, uh, how about a uh, brother, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Someone saying my name a lot is weird, too. I don't, I like that. Do I'm you? Sure that. I, don't yeah, I don't think I've that. ever. Compliments, I'm all Daniel? about compliments. Daniel. Uh, I mean, full name, I'd be like, Daniel. Hey, or, or Danny. I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you're trying to soften me up. Oh, I know, I know. So, it's, yeah. so they're calling you so funny. I just tweeted about this guy, the Dos Caminos guy. Uh, I was on top. He said, you don't look that fat from this angle. What? Wow. He was inside of me. Whoa. Wow. Weird. Was that the guy that you worked with from Sea yes. yeah. Pizza Kitchen? That guy was a turd. That guy was a turd. That was such a turd. That's a, that's a light called, word to him, call this asshole. She called oh, you know what? From this angle right now, you're not a land monster. She called him. <laughs> yeah. I might be able to finish. Just don't lock eyes with me. Please yeah, lock. You definitely don't have your own orbit. She I'm said it was her best friend for two years. She would tell everybody that. Yeah, that's, my that's best how I met friend. him. Wow. That's how I met him. I met him as that. Best She's friend. like, this is my best friend. I was like, this guy stinks. That sucks. Yeah, like, Christine's cool. This guy stinks. I had, a chick, I had a chick keep going, that a boy? Like, I was like a little kid. <laughs> That's so funny. She was like, that a boy? Oh, That's oh weird. that a boy? Older like, women like, will say some weird she shit. Was, yeah, she was a little, that was a weird, I, I banged this chick, and we, yeah. I met her at the bar. I went back, no condom, plowed her. Wow. Right. Got into the can, the shit factory. Came out. You really do talk she like goes, you're constantly bending rebar. That a boy? <laughs> yeah, Mike's got a fucking construction site talk. She goes, that a boy? And then the next night, I go back to the same bar, and she's dancing with two like Puerto Rican dudes, and they're both like sucking on one side of her neck. And she looked at me and just winked. Oh! I was like, I totally have AIDS. I've got AIDS. Not because of those dudes, but because like, what a pig. And did you ever those dudes did, the night before? I, I did you ever tested. go to the... Yeah. I, I got tested, and I, yeah, thank God, nothing. Did but. you ever go back to that Elks Lodge ever again? <laughs> just, to get your Winston, Nick, just to get your Winstons out of the machine? Nick Neal's Irish Pub. I think yeah. I left my hard hat here behind the jukebox. Get <laughs> your Winstons out of the machine. I had, yeah, I had to give him my... <laughs> I had to give him my, my little playmate. my lucky strike unfiltered? Yeah. She goes, that a boy... That a boy's a war, bad one. Like I was fucking like she took the training wheels off. Well, yeah, that's what it really is. She's like, you know what? I haven't had your hands on my hip, my oh, hands on your hip. The ooh, time. who's been? The, what's the most memorable like shit talker? No, to you in, in bed, like like as chick wise. I had this girl who had a fuck. She wasn't that hot. She had a heart murmur, but something about like when you fuck her, she'd go. She would go, ay ay. 
Ay, ay. Uh, that noise, that for some reason, did stop. it. <laughs> ay, ay. But then she would go, like, sa, sa, sa. My heart. My you're heart, my me. heart calm You're down. dicking me to death. My heart's calming. Please stop dicking me to death. Her name was Martha. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Like, <laughs> terrible names. She was a Wawa employee. Dude, if you... I if I met her in a Wawa. If she would have died and you had to tell your friends that you fucked a Martha to death, you'd be like, you fucked a seven-year-old woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it would sound like. But by the way, uh, Martha was... Uh, the night I hooked up with her... Me and my buddy Dave, not Dave Smith, my buddy Dave from back in Philly. Yeah. Went back to her and her friend's place. Her friend was like really, like a really heavy chick. And like my buddy Dave was still, he was a skinny black dude. And he was still like, he's like, I'll do it, I guess. Like, yeah. I'll do it. And then um, that girl just like was, she wanted to do it, but she kept ruining everything by, kept, she keep talking. She goes, Yeah, I got this rare thing now that's like I'm taking medicine for where it's like, I just like, I, I I can't even fart. Like I have to go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet because like I just like shit oil constantly. Whoa. I got oil, and he was like, "Oh, good." She's like already like very big and girl. Yeah, like, and was, Dave's like, "Dude, I'll, you know what, dude? I'm gonna do this for you. you obviously, you got the thing with Martha. <laughs> I'll give it. I'll Martha's give it a up having palpitations. She's like, "Hold on, Jay. I'm just hooking up my EKG machine <laughs> to make sure you don't kill me mid sex." I think I brought her to a night at Sweet Cheeks uh, down the show in Atlantic City that, that Kev used to host. Yeah. where it was like violent every week. Oh, cool. And uh, I brought her to that show one time, and she got hit on by like five guys, and I got threatened to get beat up. That I'd like walk away from like three potential fights that night, and then. Oh. She, then we went back and yeah, and then house. you almost yeah, and then you gave her a heart murmur. And you defibrillated and I, her. But her roommate's just like, oh, I mean, I can't believe I ate. And then I almost all murdered her. That Thai food <laughs> and my oil shit. <laughs> I'm shitting the slicker right now. She goes, all I'd say Did is, buddy, nail her. Uh, no, he just hung in there for me and like, kept what a good dude. Did you pick up Martha the Wawa girl at Wawa? Yes. Or, really, while she was working a shift? Yes. How how'd it go? Um. Yap to her, talk to her a little bit. Uh, Did you go like, were you doing it as she was making your sandwich? So you're also like half looking at the sandwich. Well, you go, little ham, a little more ham. <laughs> <laughs> what's cra- what's cra- now, she was the cashier. She wasn't a oh, sandwich okay. artist. <laughs> the sandwich artist. That's enough. Cra- you go. When she, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, Martha, ease up. Martha. <laughs> Easy on the mayo. She goes, I, 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 no, you know what's funny? Right in the beginning of comedy, I, took, I got a rude awakening pretty quick. You're a rude right, boy. You're a rude awakening boy. You're a rude boy. Right in the beginning of comedy, I had a real, like, out of the gates, like, it just gave me a new confidence. The fact that I made, like, a whole room of people laugh. Yeah. Almost immediately. Now, I ate shit a bunch after that and all this, but, like. That girl that I. That- something about this, like, I would bring, especially when I learned how to pander to those black crowds, and I was mostly doing the black shows. Like, I knew I could bring a chick and, like, forget good comedy or, or or having anything real to say on stage or, or just, like, being whatever, you know, hope to you become a comedy. You kill. I just knew I can go rock it yeah. by fucking a stool and, like, you know, whatever shit I needed to do. And then, you yeah. can't have no superheroes in the ghetto. Like, I used to have, like, jokes like that. Yeah. And then I knew I could mur- and then he'd be like, wow, he just, like, murdered in that thing. And you bring thing. a white girl to that black setting and she sees you, like, some... Fucking, you're, you're like bridging yeah, gaps. It's like unbelievable. What you, yeah, I'm Eminem. <laughs> she's like, I'm close to, she's gonna get the fucking Eminem. Um, I'm peanut Eminem, the peanut fat Eminem. version. <laughs> <laughs> she's making a sandwich the next day and she goes, No, he's basically like half MC, half civil rights leader. <laughs> he's uniting people. The way he made those blacks lose their shit was unfucking real. He's Hand me the president. tub of pickles. Yeah. Hand me the tub of pickles. I'm out of pickles down here for the hate. Go in the back and get another bag of our oddly fantastic macaroni and cheese. I always got to throw him a plug. I love Wawa. <laughs> Guys, I've already I got a two her. week. I've got a, th- a three week away plan yeah. for Wawa. We're going. To, we're doing Stress Factory together, and he was like, "So what we'll do is we'll stay over Saturday. Great. So on the way back Sunday, we can get fresh." Wawa for football. Her? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the Eagles play the Dallas nighttime game. Right. So I, was, I'll, I can I'll leave her, I'll, It'll be a couple hours old at that point. But I've gone fun. a couple times with you now. It's great. It's I great. love Wawa. But Wawa. I'll bring you something back. But if you bring want to come back over and watch that game, like the Eagles, Eagles, Cowboys. Is it this Sunday? No, no, no. It's the last weekend of this month. Do you have your, do you have your one? I've been to the same one, I think, twice with you. Do you have one favorite Wawa? I, I, sure, I guess you, I'd call Christine's it that. Christine's nodding. First of all, you, you first of all don't, don't like put the like don't put the you're doing the inflection all wrong. Say it again. Wah 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 wah. Yeah, but what were you saying? He did wah 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 wah. 
Well, I know that, how to say it. Does that make just, you angry? Is that zero to 60 for you? I didn't like it. I think it is. <laughs> I, think, I think we just found Jay's first Jay's zero to 60. Wow. Have you had the cannoli dip? If you have, you wouldn't fucking treat with that kind of disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Wawa? I like Mike's like, guys, seriously, that's kind of funny. Wawa? <laughs> he just gets his head. Sort of one section of the thing, cannoli cream Yeah. with the chips. Yeah. On the other side, broken up pieces of cannoli outside they've just figured it all out um, I think, yeah there's there's just an architect that just knows jay's diet that works for wawa there it we'll is I mean, perfect it is, oh, come on that's insane they, so good <laughs> they make a good sandwich well we're getting all ramped up but we gotta you're gonna have chick-fil-a for the first time today i am gonna have you've never had chick-fil-a time. never in my life how long ever in your life good. How long has it been in the city now? A couple weeks? Month? Uh, a month. year. May, yeah. It's been there a year? There was one down on NYU's campus in the West Village. Yeah, for a long time, go. no one really knew about it, though, right. I think. Oh, right? in campus? Now there's one a couple blocks away that's been here for but that one got six a, months. But that six one got months, a bad right? health department grade at first. I don't care. Which one? The NYU one? No, the one. Or this one? Care. It's rat meat. <laughs> yeah. All the meat's rat. It's like Demolition Man. It's a rat burger. Do we got to take a break? Let's take a break. All right, let's take a break. we come back, we'll finally get to whatever it is you wanted to brought Mark Face over for. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll be right back, everyone. Bye. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Clarence and AC, she's my favorite thing. Evan Bright out my mouth since 92. The bonfire, it's Bad Boy Monday. Uh, can't stop, won't yeah. stop. Uh, 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 five, y'all. Uh, bonfire, Comedy Central Radio. Can't stop, won't stop. Sirius XM 95. Uh, Dan Soder, that's Big, big J. With us, Mike Fenoya. Yo, yo. Uh, yeah, Puff Daddy on the Road celebrating uh, the Bad Boy anniversary. I forget who it is, but this guy, whoever the guy, the guy has a name. It's like Livingston Bartholomew something. Barrington, oh, Barrington Levy. Barrington Levy, the radio Barrington guy. Barrington Levy. Well, Aaron is in. We're, we're doing. A, that I mean, was close. That uh, was close. We're doing new, but not live. Hodges is, is having a moment over here. Yeah, we're in the office, and uh, we're in the comedy office doing our show. And, and uh, Aaron Hodges, who works at the Comedy Channel, admitted that he lost his virginity to the song. How old were you? Nineteen. Nineteen. How old was she? Seventeen. Okay. You piece of Whoa. shit. <laughs> you know what? It's very shine of you. What did he go to jail? Oh, he didn't go to jail for that. What did he go to jail for? I forgot he went to jail for. I think it wasn't like protecting Pete Diddy or something. And then it was like he came out and he got the little curly cues on the side. He became like Jewish. Ooh. In jail? I swear to God. What's yeah. up with bad boy artists going to God? They just they go have, nuts. Yeah, at some Mace point. is like, I gotta be a minister. I gotta get out of here. And now he comes back and tries to be minister rap. Well, now they're. I mean, he's on the road with them. It's like little Kim and her new but face. He's just coming out and doing his thing. Man, Dude. she looks terrible. She yeah, up. it's real bad. But she I was, love her. She was cute. I loved her. I still love her. But now she's just sitting on two tree stumps. Her, her, her ass Well, her and face, so she looks fat. like a like a weird, she looks like a Game of Thrones fairy. She she's ridiculous terrible. looking. But she was so hot. Oh, that poster where she was squatting? Was squatting. That's when she was at her most natural. That was like, she never looked like that ever again. I was that was perfect. I was okay with her with the blonde, blue eyes, yes. like... Shit like that. The that might have the... been. That poster may have been when I realized I love black women. Was that poster? That's not Little Kim. I mean, it's freaky. Whoa. Yeah, weird. Whoa, Latoya Jackson. Oh, look at that. What a fucking shame. She massacred herself. God, she was hot. She looks. Like, she looks like that cat lady thing. Meow. You know what I'm talking about? The cat lady? Look at her there. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. I used to be scared of the milk. Now I throw my tongue to the shit. <laughs> Lap it up like a real cat. Uh, there, there I lick my own there. fur. Look at that one. Th- down in the middle. She oh, that was the, great. Uh, the rumor that they, fed, they had to pump her stomach. Oh, because there was a like gallon of cum in it. That was, that's a rumor about it. That was the rumor that started with that Rod Stewart years ago. <laughs> yeah, but I remember Little Kim and being, you know, that is very hot li- to me. Little Kim's Why stomach would you have was to have filled your with Rod load. <laughs> was, it's, not, it's not healthy. She was so hot. <laughs> You would never have to have your stomach... I believe you would never, under any circumstance, have to have your stomach pumped for cum. Be like, uh, Luke, unless you, you suck off an elephant. Luke, could, <laughs> you, could you do the, uh, the squatter? And you're, and you're like, I'm swallowing every drop. Oh, you think I'm going to let one drop hit my chin? This elephant's taking forever to cum. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. Ah, there it is. There it is. That's the one. <laughs> you do that noise. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a chimp. 
Am I blowing a champ? <laughs> come here. Come here, Mr. Puddles. Christine, get a, look at a picture of the cat lady. Who's the cat lady? The plastic surgery lady? Like They're Wink, all... Winklenstein or something like that? They all look like that, though. The cat lady? Go to the Upper plastic East... Plastic surgery. There it is. right there. Go to yeah. the Upper East Side. They all start looking yeah, like that. Yeah, dude. That looks just like, like her. Aye, aye. I've walked Whoa. by her on the street before. It, yeah, well, that's what they do. That's what these people just do to themselves. And in her mind, that's right. She was pretty. Well, it's fucking right, crazy. Uh, Slow down. The chick always had a seven head. Yeah. Jeez. She but she's like she, from up there, and she's like she looks like she's fucking like perfect. Hi, fucking big toe that picture. Head. That that fucked me up. It looks I like you're always uh, her face looks like she's always holding a long F. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Michael. <laughs> face hurts <laughs> constantly. Hurts. Uh, we should all get work done. Let's all get work done. You want to get a little something? What done? would you get done if you had to get something done, dude? <laughs> should we just all just go get Botox on our face for oh, a not week? Not me. I'm getting high cheekbones. Botox. <laughs> What would you get done, Soda, if you had to get one thing done? Hair implants so I could have a beard. <laughs> Brotox. <laughs> Brotox. Brotox, bro. What would you get, bro? High cheekbones. Uh, you you if would. I get plastic surgery, I'd get liposuction, of course. Yeah, that's exactly what I would get. You get liposuction? Really? You get liposuction? Yeah. What? I have a very Tighten you up. You get a little tummy tuck? I'd do a calf oh. reduction. Oh, I'd do a calf implant like that episode of True Life. I'll give I'd you have mine. Ja I'd have Jay's calves put on you me. You get a calf reduction? <laughs> Let me see your calves. Because Mike's short. That's what it is, though. So I you think he looks stubby. Head. Do you have all-stot legs? Mike, all-stot legs? He does, yeah. He's like a tank, like Barry Sanders. <laughs> yeah. He's got those. Yeah, dude. I want those. But they're great. Dude, look at... Yeah, man. I would want those compared to mine. Here's the thing. What you need to do, Mike, and I know this is going to be tough. But, like, like you're, you're taller if, than me. If you wear shorter shorts, I know this is the no. thing. I'm telling you, what you need, what you don't like when you see it in a mirror... Is that I'm big on this. This is very much the kind of weird shit that goes through my head. You need to see your leg coming to the knee and then going back out to the calf. You need some shape. All you see, it looks like a logs coming out of the top of your or the bottom of your shorts. Because my shorts are too long. Yeah, Dude. they're not too long. I get it, but I'm saying I know, man. What? Know. So you'd have calf reduction surgery? No, I don't know. What would I you said have? that for? I'm not sure. I think I'd. Uh, Maybe get my teeth worked on a Oh, bit. all right. That's fun. Yeah. I would have my teeth whitened mm -hmm. if we're going low level. But that's very low level. No, There's I wouldn't no get whitened. I'd get them like the, some of the spaces filled in probably. No, nah, this is my, guys, this is my mom's tummy tuck. I keep tuck. Oh, she's Now I know her tits are hanging out. Don't get a big thing about it. Wait, that woman, that's her body. Zone. Christine is in a constant dilemma over uh, breast implants. I feel like I feel like women are pushed towards, obviously they are. I don't. I, I, give her, I give her no... Opinion either way, other than I go, if you want to get them, get them. I'm sure it'll be great. If you don't want to get them, don't get them. I know a couple chicks that had breast But you know, get them. <laughs> and they were like... I mean, look, if you don't want them, don't hair. get them. But you know, get them. But you should get them. But then if you don't want them... If you don't want them, don't get them. But, but you know... Yeah, also get them. But if you really want to get them, like... Then I'm okay with before. that, and, I'll, and then I'm like, get them tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. you, just, you wake up. You're writing a, it out as you, you don't have to get them. There's there's a, a and here's the check. There's if a, you decide to go, go. But and here's a great doctor. There's a check under your pillow, like the tooth fairy. What is this? Oh, it's a breast augmentation under her bra, like a boob fairy. Yeah, our friend Michelle's getting reduction today. Dude, we actually, oh, uh, should uh, how text hilarious her. was that? We were we got out of a cab and she said say goodbye to them and everybody like touched them like it was a baby about to be delivered and then some dude that was walking down the street reached in the cab and grabbed her jug he as the cab was, was taken. Weird. It was very weird. Yeah, he I just goes hold on do. a minute and he like grabbed her tit and ran along the side of the cab. It was the weirdest. I didn't thing. know what to do about that. I don't know how I feel about breast reduction surgery. I know it's for their health and for. Well, it's not. I mean, so. she has like you know she has kids and she just feels like she has, she calls them udders like she hates them so Is she, she wants them all completely done? She's like, getting a mastectomy. She's going, I don't uh, know. I don't know. What's, how's that not a... I mean, she's going down like two sizes. Yeah, but nobody goes and gets like a flat chest unless you're trying to become what? a man. Miss, no, what would if you, you have breast cancer our... running in the family, you get them removed. Miss, what... Yeah, but those people always get implants put in. Ah. Miss, miss, what would you like to do with your that. breasts? I want you to take my breasts off. off. <laughs> breast off. Breast starring breast. Michelle and Christine. Off. Breast. Whoa. Yeah, she was, she's doing that. Is it weird that I'm a big fan of the left ones? Yeah, me too, Holmes. <laughs> me too. Uh, uh, I like righties. I like a big, huge natural. I like the ones in the right more. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> that the nips one all the... pointing straight down to the ground. I don't get uh, it. Well, I don't want to see that. I don't think that's that bad. Which one? The surgery. Hey, I, I don't think the surgery is great. I like that blood. No, one. I don't want to see that. 
I was stop looking at that part. Have you seen that show, Monsters Inside Me? Have you watched that yet? Is that about big tits? <laughs> it's about <laughs> chicks that fuck black guys. No, it's uh, you'd hate it. It's about like people who have organisms living in their body, and they feel like, oh, I got a stomachache, and then they find out they have some parasite. I have a like stomachache. I have fucking... a fucking millipede living in my guts. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch. I would want. I want to watch you watch that. I can't. It's fucking. Crazy. I can't do that. That's actually that's like hard to me that I can't watch. You know what's hard for me to watch is when people like bones break, which leads us to exactly why I brought Merc Face over here. Oh, yeah. His heart bone. Oh, now uh, I remember the thing. Anyway, Christine, whatever you want to do, but get him. Um, Christine, don't next. get pushed. Don't get pushed, though. Don't listen to me, but do whatever you got to do. But, you know. Oh, you don't look so flat-chested from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mer- I just, you know what it is? It's like, I'm going to get old. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to age out anyway. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put fucking tits in my body so that I just age out anyway. Like, it's kind yeah, of it sounds great. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that's bad? Um, <laughs> I'm so lost right now. Is this good or bad? Uh, yeah, you're going to get older and you're going to love the yeah, answers. Like, just nice give a non-answer. You're like, of course. Perfect. You start being too honest. You're like, what answer would probably push you towards getting them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do I have to say to get you on that table tomorrow? Uh, um... Oh, man. Why are you putting these up? <laughs> Boob jobs before and after? Oh, man. Katy Perry? Is that Katy Perry? Hers are natural. Or so I've heard. Look. Listen, are they, gotta, gotta, are they great? To top. Are they what? great? Yeah. Oh, you just Does put a matter? fucking screen full of tits. No. And butt cheeks. Doesn't really matter. The reason we brought Merkface over here was, Hi. if I don't know if you want to find this video, Christine. Yes. But there... I haven't watched the video yet. Have you talked to your good friend, Dan... We're talking to Hayseed right now. We're talking to Hayseed. I want to talk to Hayseed. I have spoken with him. You have spoken with him since he broke a man's arm. Yes. Arm wrestling. Absolutely. I heard about this. Here's I the video. It. Well, pause it for a second. Pause watch it real it quick. Uh, let me just say that right now, I've always said this. I'm a huge fan of his comedy. I think he's <laughs> a genius. Incredible businessman. I Incredible. think he's a hack. Come see me. I love his. I love Prilosec. I love everything he does. I love... Uh, what was, it, what was the movie? Yeah. Or I love like Larry the Cable. Or something I love like that. Larry the Cable Guy, Food Inspector. I have a poster on my wall. I think it's my Goodfellas. Um, <laughs> so some call it the Citizen K- Duck Season. Some call it the Citizen Kane of comedy. I think Duck Season was one of the best things ever. I think he needs a shot as a mission. He's so strong. Um, Here it is. Roll him. Let's just do it. Larry the Cable Guy, arm wrestling. DMZ. <laughs> They're at a Nebraska Cornhuskers yeah. game. Yeah. So Larry invites a lot of. Uh, Wait, dude, pause it, pause hold on, this guy is. First of all, yeah, he's arm wrestling cable, Evan Williams. Is Larry the cable guy on the no left? No one knows who that is. No one. Yeah. Really? Do you think? Looks, what, do you think they're playing this at the creek? <laughs> <laughs> it's going I said out actually the, for you guys. He does look like going out to the yes. whole world. Good. Hey, everybody, look up Evan Williams. Actually, you're right. Evan Williams is very funny, but he is. still, my, um, come on. Which, right. yeah, suck is Larry? Suck it. This is something you know about him because you've gotten hand jobs. I assume. Is he a lefty? Yes. He is a lefty. Lefty. Okay. And okay. the, so this is Larry's, uh, he's a big Nebraska Cornhuskers fan. Go Buffs. This is his private box. He invites veterans, army guys. Oh, and it, then yeah. breaks their and, arm. Yeah. He goes, I, I want to know who served. I'm going to prove I'm the, mo- I'm the most dangerous man <laughs> Why don't y'all send me over there? Oh, so didn't, he do Delta, didn't he do Delta Farce? Delta he Farce. did do Delta Farce. It's my favorite movie of all time because he's so strong. <laughs> uh, it's second only to me for Delta Force with Chuck yeah. Norris and the rocket launching uh, Suzuki Samurai. So this is a guy named John, and John uh, challenged... Larry, t- he goes, you can pick the arm. And I'll no. arm wrestle you either one. And Larry's the well, man or the a, guy said that to Larry? The arm you got. Yeah, John said that to Larry. He goes, like, well, Larry goes, well, I'm a lefty, so let's go left. He's like, which arm you want to break? <laughs> he goes like this. He goes, I'm going to snap your bones the way them Hodges couldn't. He's like, <laughs> hey. He's like, what arm do you rat with? He's like, my right. He goes, cool, I'll break your left. Yeah, because I'm a gentleman. <laughs> which arm do you jerk off with? <laughs> Oh, this little boy's about to watch some time. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Just gets Yay! cartilage in the eye. Good, wholesome fun. So we're off. Oh, fuck. They're going. You got They're it. going. They're going. Pretty oh, even. Man. Fucking shit. Even so far. Oh, cock, it's going to happen. And I oh, can't. God, it's going to happen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not happening yet. Oh. Oh my God! No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh 
Oh my shit! Yeah, dude, dude. That's. Oh look. By the way, by the way, go back. Did you see a a, a fucking? Where is this in Nebraska? Yo, you see the uh, flyer for the Funny Bone? Let's see who's playing. Did you see that on the thing at the very end? Wait, pause it. Wait, wait, not yet. Now. Not yet. No. Wait, wait. Pause it now. <laughs> Who's coming with Funny Bone? Oh, wow. Omaha Funny Bone. Eddie Griffin still getting work. Oh, yeah. And a new Jesus pair of Air Force Christ. Ones. New pair of Air Force Ones every time. Every time. New pair of Air Force uh, Ones. We'll put them on Tony Rock. Tony Rock. Uh, there. Tony Rock. I think. Dude. Does that say Ari Shafir? No. <laughs> like, there's a Funny Bone flyer. <laughs> Wait, does that say Ari Shafir on the second one? It, uh, that. No. Good. No, Nebraska. Oh, yeah. Didn't he just go to Omaha? Yeah, I think this is Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir. Hey, he pops up in the video. Look at that. Oh my god, that's I can't watch that shit. Yo, that's the bone that I that's the humorous. The doctor that did my surgery said that the, he always does that surgery for people that broke their arm to Now arm you have bionic humorous, which is why you're such a funny guy. Oh, Walked dude. into that one. Um and God, that's brutal to what watch if he was, though. If Larry the Cable Guy was undercover ISIS and he did that and he goes <laughs> That's for the Caliphate. <laughs> <laughs> that's for the Islamic State. <laughs> that's with that accent still? Yeah, he goes. Um, by the way, that's for the caliphate. <laughs> um, that's brutal. Now I just want to fucking fight Bill Engvall. Um, what did he say? Did he feel terrible about it? Horrible. We had a uh, we had that guy John call in on Friday. I guess he was and holding the phone with his right arm. Yes. Well, he had surgery. He's going to be fine. Did he get surgery? It? Yeah. yeah. He had surgery. surgery. Of course. Yeah. That's fucking. It's the big bone right there. He's got a big scar now from Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah. Came home unfazed. American from war. hero. That is not a good surgery. He was totally cool with it, there go. You know, the guy was very, very almost apologetic to Larry. Remember does the it, time Larry the Cable Guy broke my arm? I mean, that's a great story. story. For life. It's a story for life. Now, how does it change the, the Prilosec guy? And they go, yeah. sue him, right? Oh, yeah. he's, he's got the power of an ox. He's going to sue him, obviously, no. right? No, but it, Larry, I bet, probably threw him some dough or but something. But the guy challenged him. It's true. How does it change the working environment? Are you much more intimidated by Larry now? Mark Face isn't intimidated. Oh, you just stare down. You go, oh, well, you broke Mark his Face arm. does have great arm wrestle or tattoos, though, like an anchor. With yeah. A the shark him. that you did yourself on the boat <laughs> with, the, with the hook that you caught that shark with. Yeah, you really. From Jaws, Mike. You have some tough ass. You do have some sailor tattoos. I know. That's great. Now you got to get a pinup girl. I would like a pinup girl. Would you get a pinup girl? I'm, I'm contemplating what to get next. She'll right never now. leave you. Maybe a ship. <laughs> yeah, she won't be. She won't be snuggling on your chest. Your arm will never be on your chest. War Bond girl, just fucking doing one of these. Oh. That's pretty fucking cool, man. That one. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that's a crazy break. That shit hurts like a motherfucker. Mike's got one tat. It's the worst thing ever. I thought it was a rip on your back. <laughs> it's the lightning bolt from the Grateful Dead thing. It's not a good one though. If the if the Grateful Dead, right? If Jerry Garcia came back from the other world to lead the army of the Grateful Dead. Including uh, John Mayer is now in there, versus the Army of Fish. On which side would you both be on? If Jerry Garcia came back to life, yeah, clearly yes. him. He's a ghost. I'm going to that side. Well, we could always just prop up his bones, like the Touch of Grey video. <laughs> they wanted to do a hologram. They were going to do a, a Tupac-ish Jerry hologram at the Soldier Field shows. They should that would be fucking. You know how many awesome. people's head would have fucking exploded? Like old hippies taking acid for the first who time. Don't re uh, and who, Jerry who didn't get the word that was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jan, Jan. Look, the thing I wished for happened. Yeah. Oh, I had a terrible stone thought the other day. I'm just like, I heard some weird, like, whirring outside of, like, my window. Just, I don't know what it was. But it's not a plane going by or something like that. And I was just, like, got stoned and way too in my own head. I'm like, what if, would I do if we ever lived through, like, that crazy Independence Day movie style event? Like, oh, well, here it is. Everything's different forever now. Is it weird that my first thought in ever that situation is to go get a pack of cigarettes and start smoking again? Really? Yeah. No, if, there was like, it. if I yeah. looked out and there was a giant alien spacecraft, just like, I'd be like, well, who's got a cigarette? Because fuck That's this shit. That's great. That's great. Fuck this shit. I'm back, baby. I've been waiting for three years. You should just start smoking again, dude, if it's affecting your brain that much. <laughs> well, I mean, now you're really... That's the down. first thing you're going to do? <laughs> smoke yeah. a cigarette? Grab my machete and get some smokes. Not going to call the dish? <laughs> I mean, the dish, why? What am I going to do for the dish? Nothing. Just be like, Mom, can you believe this? Alien. She's it's like, real. She's like, yeah, She's whatever. She's going to go, I got to go to school. She's like, who gives this shit? Yeah, all right, well. well congratulations. Okay, good for you. Are you smoking yet? I got an over fifty league. Did she smoke? Uh, no, no, never did. I feel like she still goes. To, I feel like she's still a swim whore. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dan, can you wrap it up? We've got the, uh, <laughs> the Golden League semifinals are tonight down at the Pueblo. The Masters. Uh, yeah. It's the Masters division. Masters, <laughs> the Masters division and the Golden League are uh, they're at, over at the Piney Creek Pool. Can we finish this up? <laughs> Mom, are you still going down to swim meets? I'm going to meet your new stepdad. She's that like, way. my new boyfriend's going to beat Joe this year. I go, Mom, you can't, you can't beat him in the 4 y one He's the anchor. <laughs> he's the anchor. He's this the guy's anchor. the Phelps. He's 67, and he's still going. Pulling anchor. I wonder if he still swims out there. I don't know. I, I heard that dude moved. I heard him and his wife moved to Costa Rica. What? <laughs> yeah. They both became uh, women. Yeah, that would be great. I would fight. That would be the first woman I'd fight. Is there ever a gift of the Magi situation on record of like a guy and a girl both getting sex changes to become the other thing and then staying together? Ooh. Wow. The old switcheroo. The old switcheroo. Gotta be. You think so? Gotta be. In this, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure I mean, somebody, we're in a world somebody, where somebody would almost do it for the story. Right. Yeah. We're in a world where Larry the Cable Guy slaps or snaps Vets' arms. So God only Jesus knows. Christ. Invites him up into the box. The one guy He's I thought. He's like a big dude. He invites him up to beat people up. He goes, no, no, it's cool. He just picks them. He just goes out in a sea of red. Yeah, I, saw, I was at like one of those dollar store plate type stores, and they had Larry the Cable Guy cornbread mix. He's got his face on fucking everything, man. Yeah, that, I, I wonder if someone just made that. No, no, no. Could you, can you knock look it off, up, Luke? Knock off Larry the Cable Guy cornbread mix. It was a box of cornbread Let mix. it out. It was like at like a, like a Christmas tree shop. You gotta let it out. We've talked about this. You sneeze and you you stop it. By the way, it rattles through my whole there it body. Is. Oh, wow, look at that. I you was, can get it. Yeah. Larry the Cable just Guy add eggs and milk. <laughs> Try it or I'll break your motherfucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> you better buy these corn muffins. Now, hold on a second. Let that guy leave the aisle. Seriously. You want to be big and strong like me? Here's a commercial. Ow! Ow! Breaking the, arms. The secret, ingredients is, the secret ingredients is horse steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Equipoise. Equipoise. You want to rip a man's humerus in half? You got to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust the fact. Larry the Cable Guy is loaded with D-ball. <laughs> Every muffin is laced with two two cc's of pure test. <laughs> You're going to be picking up cars and enjoying fresh muffins in no time. You want to grow a beard by lunch? <laughs> corn muffins. Try Larry the Cable Guy's corn muffins. <laughs> Just have milk and eggs. Just riddle the steroids. <laughs> Bound up horse teeth. Do you fight for our country? Well, I'll fight you in my private box. But first, I'm going to have some... On a related <laughs> note, try out Larry the Cable Guy's back knee cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's all stuff to... Yeah. yeah. And testicle enlarger. <laughs> nut implants. Yeah, nut implants. I mean, that's... He's got his... He's... Well, can we look up how many products he has? I want to know his everywhere. worth. You want to guess his worth? Yeah, sure. Let's I want to it. guess it's hundreds of millions now. I want to guess a hundred. I, so I want to guess one hundred and seventy million. I'm going to say sixty million. You are. Okay, I'm going to say. Uh, I think it's uh, somewhere in between those two. I'm going to price is right. You and say one hundred and ten million. I'm going to go one dollar. I'm going to go <laughs> down to one hundred twenty million. I'm at one ten. Sixty. You're saying sixty. Let's go. Fifty. Fifty. Oh, is God that it? Really? Damn it! You win, Fanoia. Is that it? Really? Because that's I don't. Oh yeah, you went over. Murphy. I mean, I under worth I six dollar. You and I what? Kanye West is only worth sixty. I guess only that's sixty. It. Really? Really? Kim Kardashian, one hundred and eighty. What about one hundred seventy nine now? Yeah. Oh, we forgot about witless protection. Witless protection. I didn't forget. I just don't acknowledge that one. I wonder how much the corn muffins is making them. <laughs> you know? Honey, you yeah. great. That's him strong. I bet people third. that only eat Larry the Cable Guy his corn business, muffins. His business, his, his business manager is behind him when he snaps the arm. He goes, I don't know. Cut him off some of the corn muffin. But, <laughs> Send him give, him, give him Q4 Not corn even. muffin scratch. Yeah. <laughs> corn muffin scratch. <laughs> Gotta try it. Break him off. Um... Fifty million? I would have definitely thought it was more. Than he that. made forty-eight million. How much? Did Jeff I mean, at one point, at one point, they were saying he was like three hundred thou. Uh, a night. I think. What about Foxworthy Jeff Foxworthy? Would be a billionaire. You mm. think Jeff Foxworthy's a? Let's guess this one. All right, I'm going to say two hundred million on Foxworthy. I'm going to. I'll go three. Three uh, hundred? Yeah. I'll go one. One twenty-five. Everything. I'm going to say hundred. And been around million. a long time. You said hundred twenty-five. Hundred hey! million. Wow, it's kind of hard to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right, is hard. this also going to tell you the guy Adam Sandler's friends net worth? Because oh. I want to know that. Yeah. Who's that? What's his name? Adam Sandler's friend, Peter, Peter Dante. Dante. Ah, cool. Uh, let's see. 400000 oh, That's not bad, that's though. That's great. He's the quarterback from uh, Waterboy. Waterboy. Uh, he, he, was, he, he played in, Dante uh, yes. in Grandma's Boy. He was yeah. a gay guy in Big Daddy. And yes. I just saw him in an early episode of Larry Sanders the other day. 
Oh, yeah, Larry Sanders is Dude, streaming on HBO it now. It is, and is it great? Uh, 10 mil. Speaking of Larry Sanders, I don't know if you talked about this on, on the show, but Rolling Stone put out their list of the top 100 television Bullshit. shows of all time. Bullshit. Did you look at it? Bullshit. What's number one? Bullshit. South number Park one, was, Sopranos. S- South Park was 33. Right. You want to know? The Cosby Show wasn't on it at all. Well, Married with uh, no, Children no, wasn't but, on but it. So, what? No Married with Children? Nope. There was a lot of shit. Okay, they Family put, they Ties put, wasn't on they there. Put, uh, Freaks and Geeks at 11. Dude, they Portlandia made the list of top 100. Yeah. Well, I mean, Broad, Broad City. Broad City there. made it. So they put a lot of... And by the way, Broad City's a funny show. I'm just saying, it's like, what's the time test to put them on the 100 grade Versus of all Versus Married with Children. Is married with Children. Ridiculous. That's crazy. That's Honeymooners crazy. was like up in the 50s. Odd Couple was up in like the 70s. All these classic shows. I think shows. Golden Girls in the 90s. Golden Girl was in like 94 or 5. Yeah. What was Roseanne? Uh, in the 40s, I believe. But there's, yeah, 98 is Golden Girls. Yeah, Portland. Look at this. This is crazy. It goes pretty nuts. They gave Office U.S. and Office U.K. their own thing. Yep, and no Rockford Files. Like, really? <laughs> yeah. I think some people would say other show. I think people would say go. Everyone would say Golden Girls before Rockford Files. And just if you're just saying, think of a hundred shows. Married with Children. How do you not say that? That one's crazy. That's you said Cosby crazy. Shows off. I Cosby get that shows. too. I don't get that. I get it just because that's, that's a pure. Listen, it but, would be on there. It would be on there. Yeah, but what about? It's not the Bill Cosby special. It's what about fucking Felicia Rashad and Malcolm Jamal Warner and all the other people that made that Lisa show? Bonet, show. Keisha Lisa Bonet, Keisha Knight, Bonet, uh, uh, Urkel. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Cockroach. Oh, okay. Cockroach. I don't know. That's one of the. That should be top ten, man. Keep going. Did you say Martin's not on here? Ma- that's none crazy. of that. Ma- Different World's not on it. Martin's not on it. Martin Full House. Is nuts. Full House isn't on it. Family Matters. All those no shows, racist. huh? Racist. No, you know what else? No, like Jefferson. No growing right. pains. No, who's the boss? No, uh, Angela. Angela. We got to make the top hey, one. Hey, get Rolling Stone on the thing. I can't. Americans, Americans is good, but forty-three. What is it? Forty-three. Yeah. Americans. The Americans. Yeah. It's, oh. No. <laughs> Honeymooners, the honeymooners is a 40, should be higher. Should be higher. It's a forty. Here's the thing: I don't like the honeymooners, but it's like you, you gotta look at it. something. It's like a uh, yeah, but a, a fucking. It started all over. of it, man. No Sons of Anarchy on here. No. And all this stuff. That's crazy. Law and Order. My so-called yeah. life only did one season. It did one season. To be but, thirty-five. Jared Leto. <laughs> all right. Christine, that was right in her thirty rock. Yeah, I agree. No with that. Daria, Christine. Does that upset you? It does. Yeah, Daria's great. South Park, thirty-three. They did 20 seasons of some of the best fucking animated writing. You're not going to put them in the top 20. Yep. Get the fuck out of Lucy here. Lucy should be higher. Well, Lucy should be higher with Sesame Fun- Street and Jeopardy. I can understand. Se- Sesame, Sesame, Sesame Street maybe should be higher. Yep. Carson. Tonight show with Carson. Carson. All right. Oh, I hate Monty Python. It's, it's huge. You hate though. British people. Right. That's what I meant. X yeah. Files. I could see that. Arrest Development. Canceled. I mean, no. At 27, Canceled. At 27, I'm sorry. I don't think Arrested Development's 27. It's just can't friends you could argue. Yeah, Ran forever. Ran Ten for year run. Veep at 25. Veep at 25. Is... Unproven yet. That's well, my, yeah, unproven. It has won a bunch of Emmys. Hilarious. Friday Night Lights. Uh, everyone says another great show, Love people it. say, but 24? Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Deadwood. Three seasons. Three but. seasons. And got canceled before they wrapped the story up. Better, than, better tw- than Golden Girls. Louis at 22 is is rough. That annoys me, too. It's just, I can office, see a 60s. Office UK at 21 is... I, I liked it. All right, here we go. Top 20 Top now. 20. 20, 20, Cheers. Here fine. Yes, fine. No problem there. Yes. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb. 18. Yep. Game changer for Star sure. Star Trek is Star a game Trek. changer. Sure. I'm okay with it's Star the Trek. the old one, too. Twin Peaks. Love it. Again, canceled show though. At seventeen, a canceled show and a very niche market for yeah. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Mash, Mash, I agree with. Yeah, I'm cool with that. West Wing at fifteen, sure. I don't know. People loved it. I never gave a shit about show. What do you think about this, Larry Sanders at fourteen? I never saw Larry Sanders. I love it. I never saw it either. People it's fucking great. again. People go back and worship. It was right. It was out of my wheelhouse when I was a kid. I didn't like uh, see much of it. So yeah, and that's the thing is, I'm excited to go back and watch it on HBO Go now. Uh, number thirteen, I don't agree with. Late Night with David Letterman should not be in front of Carson. There Agreed. would Amen. not be Letterman without Carson. Amen. Uh, that, that's true. Again, now you're going. What are you going? I like though? Carson. I liked Carson Four. better. I do too. I was young, but I liked Game of Thrones at twelve. That. Is that's just too niche for me. Like, I, I, again, I don't watch Game of Thrones because I, I don't love like, it. I don't that's like the lost. genre. That's another no Lost. Where yeah, but here's the thing: Lost is like a modern day story, whatever. The, Game of Thrones to me is genre. I won't watch this because I don't care about the. There's when I see movies like that where it's like 
those big budget like gods of Egypt thing like that and I'm like I just don't care but the Bible ones I'll do you that's know gods I mean? of Egypt no that's like gods and kings or something it's called I'm talking about like kings yeah, of I'm, I'm talking Egypt. about like the Clash of the Titans movies oh, yeah, and yeah. shit like that and they do now there's one called like gods of Egypt what it's about not, Conan you mean like the 300 movies I like I watched the 300 because that's like so visually stunning but I I, I didn't that's like a that was like a unique uh, filmmaking thing. So you're not a Conan. Just a thing. For, no, I'm not. I watched Conan. I watched Clash of Titans when I was younger. Number but these 11. don't hold anything for me. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like yeah. to make it number twelve. It's such a broad stroke for something that I find to be very two uh, two seasons. Of, number uh, eleven. I don't freaks and geeks. I don't get this. One I, season. I love the show. They're saying because it launched. People. Okay, cool. Then what about Ed Sullivan and Johnny Carson? Already, the fact that we're at eleven, you said it is never, and it's not on the list at all. Martin was wow. That's right there within Living Color. It's like black, like, like not black sitcom like Cosby Show. Black like fucking like hip hoppy. Also, yeah, it was the first show that I watched. Culture. It was the first show that I watched. That when I went to my like my black friends' houses, they were like, "Yeah, that's like more. That's right. Yeah. Like, Martin's the good." What show. the fuck is what's happening? What's happening? No Sanford and Son. Um, Sanford and Son. Times. I thought was on there. No, uh, I did not see Sanford and Son. No, the, it's. Uh, I saw. think was it Good Times and the Jeffersons. Good Times was on there in Jefferson. Listen, I'm sure. fine with ten Daily Show. I'm fine with that. Sure, ran forever. That. Yeah. And, he, and it was also a show higher. that it was a show that was made his By, over that time. wasn't his. This yeah. should be higher. This should be way higher. All in the family you think should be higher than that? Absolutely. Nine. I think it was yeah. one of the first like shows that really kind of tackled a lot of. They there was did? a hippie, a racist, black, like Sammy Davis Jr. Like, uh, I, you know, I, like the Eden. show almost makes me weirdly uncomfortable now. Yeah, it's pretty uh, because the jokes weren't really. Um, I thought it was a great show. Exactly. England is a fag country. The things they say, I know they got away with it and did it, and everything was fair game, as it says it, on it. It was just like, it has got It doesn't hold up as funny. The, 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 the harsh... The harsh... It might seem weird to hear, hear, hear me say this, but I think you know what I mean. The harsh racism and stuff like that wasn't funny and... I'm always okay. Uh, here's the thing: I don't want to be judged on stuff I say ever because, like, if it's something harsh, racial joke or something like that, it's supposed to be funny. I don't think the jokes on those things were ever funny. You know what I mean? Where he'd be like, he's, like, he's a jungle bunny, and he's like, that's just a joke. You know what I mean? I'm like, I think, it, yeah. I, the ra- I, I, you're saying the racism was the punchline. I think it was probably the first. Yes, time. versus it being like, uh, and let, or, or, you know, yeah, I think if you right. grew up though in a house like this, and then it was on TV, you're like, holy shit, that's fucking Uncle Vinny, or that's that's Grandpa. And, it was the and first I think one that's kind of neat that that was, you know, like. Well, it's in the top ten, so I think it's safe in the top ten. That's number fine. eight, number eight <laughs> Saturday Fair. Night Live, it's Run Forever. Yeah, very number seven. Twice. Twilight Zone. Okay. Amazing. I respect it. Interesting that that's there, but okay. Simpsons and Six? Sure. Ah. Simpsons, Simpsons probably should be in top five. Simpsons should be top five, at least. Seinfeld at five? Can't argue that. Can't argue that. Mad Men That's four. insane. This is insane. Just wait. Mad Men at four? Just that's wait. insane. Just wait. Keep going. Breaking Bad at three? I'm, I'm with. I'm with Breaking Bad at three. I don't ever The Wire. It. The oh. second best show of all time. I don't know, dude. The Here's Wire the is no, fucking the, great. I know, no, but again, it's another it's a top show. Ten. It's a top, top ten. Top ten, but number two. But didn't it also get can- I know it ran six seasons, but didn't it get They kind of oh. hurried season five. They made them wrap it up at five. They were supposed to do seven, and they wrapped up at five. That's right. So Phenomenal like, show, but Jesus Christ. Sopranos man. at one. You can argue yes. You can argue no. I'm going to rewatch it. That was I, another. Been, that was another. Like everyone watched so, the Sopranos. So, what yeah. wasn't on it that would be that you think should be one hundred percent Martin Cosby show is a fucking trap. Married with children. Married with children. Married children. Married with children. Sure. What else? Um, I think what's happening, dude. What's happening? And now, said, first of all, what that brought the world together. Like they did episodes. Remember the ep- the Doobie Brothers episode of What's yeah, Happening? They went yeah. to go see the Doobie Brothers. Yeah. Night Court not on it. Uh, I could argue Night Court, but there's a lot of people that can argue this against Night Court. Raymond. What? These are shows. Laverne from and Shirley. These are the ones that didn't make it. This is just a different list. Family I ties. Up. Family ties didn't make it. That was a big show. So it's just another list of, of different shows. Facts of life. What do we do? Girls. Oh, dude. Girls. Hang on a minute. Are the monsters? On the list. What about like no leave it to Beaver? No. Uh, what the fuck? The Andy, Andy Griffith, Griffith show. Andy Griffith show. No Andy Griffith show. The monkeys. No the monsters. Carthic. The monkeys should totally be. Was on. the monsters on it? No. Adam's family. No. Scary. Witch. Pretty crazy. Oh, Tom. I dream a genie. Not on None it. Of them. So it really wants to sing that. Can Hungry, you please bring up the goddamn Rising Perfect Stranger's theme song. Of my dreams. There's Ari Shafir at the Funny Bone. 
<laughs> should, uh, should we take one more break? Yeah, let's go out with some fucking Perfect Strangers theme. Stand and Which, by the way, a lot of people don't realize was a spinoff of Family Matters. I did know that, and it was all based off of... Uh, no, no, no. Family Matters was a spinoff of Perfect Strangers. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, she the worked mom the worked in the newspaper with them. We'll be right back, everybody. It's the bonfire. We're perfect strangers. Can I be your balky? Will you be my Larry Applewhite? Appleton. Appleton. No, sorry. Appleton. Nothing's gonna stop me Nothing's gonna stop me now. Don't ever stop me. Can't stop me. I'm forward. I'm not stopping. I'm only going forward. <laughs> And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Don't shit on Maze. He's a preacher. Hold on. I'm a big man, get this man room out of here. Everything for the same thing for the cocoon. Why you stand on the wall, hand on your book? He's a lyrical genius. I'm the reason they made the guy a boo boo. The bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Full of gold, but I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. It's true. And Dan Soder, uh, by the way, is going to be in Long Island Friday, October 21st Long at McGuire's, yeah, uh, which is an awesome club. And Saturday, October 22nd at Governor's. Uh, get tickets at dansoder.com. And Dallas Campers, you guys can also go check out Dan at Hyenas November 3rd through the 5th. Get all your tickets uh, for that at Hyenas Comedy Nightclub. That's H Y E N A S Comedy Nightclub.com. They got to shorten the name of that. That's a Terrible fucking check out Big J domain name. <laughs> Big J is going to be at the Funny Bone in Virginia Beach Friday, October twenty first through Sunday, October twenty third. Uh, that's this next weekend. Oh, then the next weekend, October twenty seventh through the 29th going to be at the Stress Factory in New Jersey. Go to bigjcomedy.com for tickets. He's going to be there with Mike Fenoya, who's also going to be recording his album at Vermont Comedy Club. Very excited. Awesome comedy club in Burlington, Vermont. That's Friday, November eleventh. And Saturday, November 12th. So make sure you go to that if you're in the Vermont area. Mike Fenoya, that's F I N O I A dot com. Is that two shows a night? Two shows a night, four shows. Two shows a night, four shows. Yep. You're going to take the best one, you're going to do it at a job. I think I'm going to do the, the best one. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't think you're yeah. going to mix and mosh? No, no, I definitely I, I not. Hate doing that. I mean, I had to do it a bit on my crowd work thing, yeah. but for the most part, I think we took one full performance and added oh. a thing. Oh, uh, crowd work wise, well, you should. Uh, speaking uh, of. It's going to be fucking badass, dude. Second season Woo! of Big J Okerson's What's Your Fucking Deal uh, from NBC CISO. It's going to be at the bitter end of New York City, November 6th through the 10th. We're going to be shooting it. The 6th through the 10th. Get uh, tickets at BigJComedy.com. Yes. And please, we have two shows a night, every night there, November 6th through the 10th. That's Sunday through Thursday. The Sunday shows are part of the uh, New York Comedy Festival. I'll be back for that. Uh, Dan is going to be doing audience mic on one of the shows. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, we're mixing up, that's the big change this year. We're mixing up audience mic every show. So we have some, uh, yeah, Louis J. Gomez is going to do one. Dan, you're doing one. It's going to be uh, fun, fun stuff. Mike Fenoya, I was uh, trying to get in there. I have you a job on it, doing warm up for it, but you are out of town now for the filming. Uh, that is the bummer. But I was going to have you warm uh, the the show up. Um, but so we have to figure out album it recording out. though. But album recording, that's a pretty big I'm very deal. Excited. And I'm They're very excited out. for you to get this stuff down on uh, on fucking wax, bro. I know. Yeah, you've been we've been talking about this for for a little while now. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited how I'm doing it too. Like. Uh, Using all local Burlington, Vermont companies to make the album. So I have a art being done by Bruno Tracy, a Burlington, Vermont artist. I'm using Tank Studios out of Burlington to do all the mixing and recording. Um, November 11th is Veterans Day, so I'm, it's free admission to all veterans okay. to come to the show. And a dollar or two from each ticket sold is going to the Water Wheel Foundation. To what they do is they um, donate money to like schools to buy kids like uh, Water? musical instruments and Water stuff like wheels? that. And wheels. <laughs> Water and wheels. And uh, I'm super fucking excited about it. Nate and Natalie Hartswick up in Burlington. Unbelievable. Opened up. Such a great club. Such a great town. In, I mean, it, I like that it's just in the hotel. Ben and Jerry are going to be It's in the hotel. There. Yeah, it's pretty great. Just Jerry. Ben's a real cunt these days. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty Ben's excited Ben's been Bob and Tom. Yeah, ben, ben, ben does all of his ice cream from home. Yeah, he sends all his ingredients <laughs> in. I don't know, man. Gummy bears and pretzels. Who gives a shit? They we'll call it, it Stephen Colbert juice. As That's they're walking it. away, they go, genius. <laughs> 
Hey, the guy still got it. The guy still got some zip on his fastball. <laughs> Make sure you follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Christine is always working very diligently on that. Are you going to do a four-hour jam set? Where you're like, what do you guys want to talk jam about? One, Reaganomics. I'm going to jam one joke out every That's night. Great. I'm just going to jam. Joke jam. Joke jam. Guys, I'm excited. Joke Drinking's jam. pretty crazy, guys. Oh, man. I remember one time. Just drinking and drinking. Driving jam. through Denver. Yeah. Big, sky, big Air America. Big Sky Country, bro. I didn't know why they called that until I moved to New York. Fuck, and I was right? like, oh, yeah. You could see all of the sky in Colorado. It's pretty amazing, right? Yeah. All right, look, dude, I'm telling you, when I landed on a plane to go do Sturgis in South Dakota, and I got off the plane, and the doors opened to that tiny little airport yeah. in, in South Dakota, and, I mean, like, you see, the, the world smells different. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Good. I mean, it smells great, and you go outside, and you're just like, wow. It's like, it's That's pretty really, amazing. I really want to do mushrooms in Montana. Like soon. Why for the alliteration? Yeah, just because I like two <laughs> M's. I like two M words back together. Tripping with these trees. <laughs> Tripping with the trees and mushrooms in Montana. <laughs> mushrooms in Montana, man. I'll do it with you. I'm dying to trip, man. I've been. I really want to do it again. I kind of want to do it in like that. Every picture I see of Joshua Tree, yes. but everybody tells me I'll hate it. Uh, uh, Everyone who knows me says Ari, I'll hate Ari it. Ari and I talked about it last night, and he said when he comes back from his trip and he's in L.A., we might, I might go do that. We should do that. Just do a live bonfire. But first of all, me and you should, uh, we, we got to do an L.A. trip together at some point. Yeah. So we can do our show from out there and I uh, get some guests. Uh, Rude Jude would absolutely come on the show. Yeah, we need to have Rude Jude on. Um, um, Jason yeah. Ellis is out there, a yeah. bunch of comics out there. But we could do a week out there, you know, when me and you just plan to go out there together at some point. Sure. Just kind of plan a trip where we both can do whatever other shit we got to do out there. I'm absolutely done with it. And both be out there. I like that I don't idea think you would like doing it out there. Jay, I think you need to, I mean, I don't know. Are you into just getting out there, though, and getting fucking woodsy for a minute on, on mushrooms, or do you need to have... I can. I can do it. If you do, do I have 4G for with my 4G hours? work? Chris, Christine just recommended Bisbee, Arizona. Oh, for Stanhope's Place. Yeah, Stanhope's Place is awesome. That's one yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's useless for soda. I bet I lived, I used to cover football for the Tombstone Epitaph. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I really that's not even the problem. I'm saying the, 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 fun, the fun of uh, Stanhope's no, Place is like, going there to get whacked. Go up to like the Pacific yeah. Northwest and like Olympic yes. National Park. Yes. There's, there's, there's a moss. There's a part of the, the, the entire, yeah, there are Arches or Zion or one of those. Now, I heard There's a so Joshua great. Tree, though, just a coyote might come up. Cool. Yeah, so a black bear or an elk might come up in uh, other places, you know? Yeah, let's, just coyote. Coyote. let's just never do it, then. Okay, guys. <laughs> let's just do it at Jay's apartment. Yeah, let's just watch Let's just do it at my house, and we'll watch Nature Channel, my big TV. Oh, man, that would be great, too. I can't trip inside a... Do you, do you get like that? I, a, I, I gotta a, get the fuck out. I, I don't even like being time. stoned and sitting around. I have a very hard time sitting inside on mushrooms. I can't do it. Very, very hard. I can't do it. I think one of the last That's times... the first time I ever did it. It's all me, me Lewis, and Dave. It's all we did. That's we just sat on a couch and watched me. stuff. They were in their own world, and I just watched episodes of Howard Stern. You know, one of the first times I took mushrooms was Halloween, and I was tripping balls, and my buddy put on Full Metal Jacket. No, nope. And it's the first time I ever saw Full Metal Jacket, and it was the part when he blows his brains out yep. in the bathroom, and I was the like, colors. I'm going to go for a walk, and I uh, just went and walked around New Haven. We watched, uh, fuck out. One and I walked around going like, what's my major malfunction? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't my, did my mom and daddy give me enough attention when I was a Is kid? all they make in Texas Steers and Queers? <laughs> uh, I did. Fenoya, 29th Infantry. My, my <laughs> first time I'm doing mushrooms, cool. I was with my friend who was like a drug addict, but also a genius. He's probably the smartest kid ah, I know. I love those people. Tannenbaum. Brian Tannenbaum. <laughs> And uh, it's a great. Name. It's a great. Name. BTs. Little little Jewish. He's a lawyer now. He's one of the smartest people I know. Uh, we did mushrooms, and we were both sixteen. He had done them before, mm -hmm. and he just told me what was going to happen as it happened. He was like, "The psilocybin's in your stomach lining. It's going to open your pupils, allowing more light in. Shadows and distance are probably going to feel a little weird." That's exactly what was happening. I was like, "Okay, Stop. that's amazing." It was great. I didn't I, freak I, out. I had a really good like, time. Now for the next half hour, I'm you're going to feel your own off. hair growing. Yeah. I, I was losing my goddamn mind one time at a fish show, and we were walking in, and my buddy's going, "I go, I'm not doing well," and he goes, "That's because you ingested poison, and the poison's starting to hit your bloodstream, and it start your body, your heat, your your heart's pumping, and you're dehydrated." He goes, "Well." 
when we get through the gate, you probably have to eliminate the poison. And I was like, what? He goes, you're going to have to throw up and eliminate the poison. And I'm like, I got to puke. I got to puke. And like, it just got in my head so bad. And it's like, poison, poison, poison. And I ran through the gates and fucking puked everywhere. And then it was the greatest night of my it life. It was beautiful. Oh, man. I looked at the puke. These crazy gates. puke was just waving goodbye. I'll tell you, like, was, the gates were covered with doves. Doing <laughs> mushrooms with Ari is always great, man. Because for some reason, when we were at Bonnaroo this year, I was really fucking, the, the needle was pinned. And I was just like, oh, 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 watching Pearl Jam. And then Ari just reaches over and puts his hand on my back in a very like non-gay, very comforting like way. Dad, uncle, kind yeah, of, yeah, in a comforting way. And I was like, "Oh man, you're the best." <laughs> and a cold yeah. water. I was like, "Ah, oh, dude, seriously!" It pulled me right back down, and I was like, "What am I talking?" Did I got you a cold did, water and a joint. I'm great. Did you do the old flipperoo? Did you do the Molly yep. and mushrooms at the same time? Yep. Mm. It was a lot of Is that fun. Your first time doing Molly that. Molly and mushrooms. Molly together? and mushrooms. Woo-wee. Yeah, was, let me was, tell you, I, I wouldn't do the that. wind tickles you, and you're like in love with fucking. Ah, oh, it's crazy. Ari said it best. Strong. He goes, you just get beach balled back up. You go, you start going down, and then the Molly's there to be like, hey, come back up. And yeah. You're like, Wee. I don't know. Every third breath. Yeah, it is. it's like being on a swing set. Like, Remember when you're coming down on the swings and your balls tickle? <laughs> Sounds like a nightmare. No, no, dude, it was great. It was it was a lot. Of, that last night, I woke. I only could go to sleep for two hours because I had to fly back to New York. And so when I woke up, you did I was, that the night before you were flying yeah, home. Yeah, fucking psycho. And then What's I woke up. I kind of woke up and I had to drive to Nashville. And I woke up and I was like, I'm a different person. I just see the world different now. <laughs> it's funny to watch that wear off. Yeah, and the then next, 45 minutes of traffic, you're like, Ugh. yeah. I get on the plane. And I'm like, I mean. I don't even know what the world is. Fucking motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, was Fonzie the Jesus of happy days? Yeah, you're like, oh. It's kind of, it's got to be awesome doing drugs and not drinking and smoking cigarettes, too. Because it keeps it kind of clean. Like, I would, I just would take acid and then drink a keg with my friends. I, you know I, what I mean? I miss smoking cigarettes. I think cigarettes on mushrooms were the, it's the greatest It thing is in the, the world. greatest, but you feel like such shit the next day. But that's why you got to smoke, smoke joints, because then you just get the super end. Good. The beautiful um, friend. Yeah, smoking on mushrooms when I was like... It is, yeah. Every when I got day. robbed, uh, we went to a, this bar that we used to drink at in Tucson called the Golden Nugget, and we got like half in the bag, and then my friend Johnny Bluntman was like, hey, I got a, a pound of mushrooms that I just got that I'm going to sell. I'm going to bag up and sell. Do you want to go to my house? And he, I was half in the bag. I was kind of drunk, and he opened the bag, and I took a handful and ate them. And I smoked a whole pack of cigarettes mm-hmm. when I was tripping. Because the night you were robbed, yeah, the night was I got. I, picture, I, picture weird... I picture while you were robbed, your hands were tied behind your back, and you got a cigarette out of the pack with just your teeth. Put a cigarette down. No, no, no you uh, got out your teeth and you picked it up like. Uh, Remember, like, the fucking sniper guy in, in yeah. uh, the Holocaust movie? What was it? Schindler's List? Yeah, where he puts Ray it down. Ray Fiennes, a Nazi soldier, picks it down with his teeth and picks it back up with his teeth. I forgot. You just I had a cigarette and a barbecue lighter. When I when I when I got robbed, that's so crusty, dude. So you do it, and then you always spin it a little bit, the lighter, <laughs> before you fucking. You or my favorite, is, my favorite is when you when you when you put your hand around it and you go, uh, yeah. I like that, don't, but you you never don't spin it a couple of times. You gotta spin it around. It's a, yeah. it's a pow. But that was the best. That was smoking a whole pack of cigarettes. On I remember mushrooms. like I remember accidentally like bumming a, me- a menthol while tripping in the winter, Ooh. and you take a breath, and it's like Ooh. it's a York peppermint patty. <laughs> it's like the winter warlock just blew like, in my mind. Yeah, You're like I take it, I take a puff of Newport, and all of a sudden I'm on the top of a mountain <laughs> in the Alps. So you never do Molly and mushrooms? I don't think I'll ever do Molly. Oh, dude, it was great. I you saw, would love it. it. LCD sound system. It was oh, great. Huh? Yeah, there you go. I did Molly? I mean, you did ecstasy. It's not the same, bro. I really is it not I, the same? I really no, see. ecstasy is just this, like, pills that could have some Molly in it and some other junk. You know what I mean? Whatever, I it, did, at- whatever it did for me, I found it to be very, like, like Carla said when she was younger and she did it, that she thought it was fucking great. Christine seems to have said it was great when she did it in her life. Um, I've, I did it. One time with the guys from Two Cents, they got it, and like, I don't know, I, I didn't, it didn't really fucking whack me that bad. I was like, I was like, I didn't feel like, if it makes sense, it's so, it's so much worse for you. I felt it was more, and I mean this, pleasant than weed. I took. I thought it was much more pleasant, but I, did, but I just felt like I was like having a good. Was stone. it powder? Was it powder in a bag or was it a pill? It was a pill. Was yours powder in a bag? Ours was capsules. powder into the capsules. Yeah, so and that's... Ari got two of those, and I took one, and Nate was getting hammered on white wine, and he saw me take the one pill, 
And he's like, he, I just, I remember, I remember Nate's voice as he was getting drunk. He kept going, I thought y'all were supposed to be on a different level. I thought y'all were supposed to be on a different level. And I go, Nate, it's not kicking in. And then Ari goes, let's take the second one before LCD sound system. So I take it, and you know where we watched uh, from the back with the booths in front Dead of like mouse. the really, oh, you know, sure. like the really rich chairs, and you mm-hmm. can stand on that, that garter thing. Mm-hmm. So that's where we were. And I was sitting down on the thing that you stand on, and I took the second pill, and Nate's wine got knocked over, and Nate was Red State Nate at this point. And he's like, oh, man, you're just knocking my wine over. You know how much that wine costs? To some I, dude? No, to me. Oh, to you. And I stood up, and I'm like, Nate, why are you being it? And I stood up, and my brain was like, <laughs> and I stood up, and I was like, what the fuck? And Nate's like, what, dude? What? And then LCD Sound System started playing Us versus Them, uh, and I haven't heard it, and it was like, and it started, and I, I, as, I was going to yell at Nate. You thought you guys were going to fucking you just Scott Pilgrim. Ver- I just kept going. <laughs> you like, started Scott Pilgriming into the world. You go, Nate, I don't understand what you're proud. Oh, shit. Dude, you, turned into the, you turned into the Ivy and fucking Mario Brothers. Dude, that's, kept going yeah, right they, this started, they started playing an Ari, this song, and Ari just goes, yeah. And I turned around, and the, Tyler, who's amazing, who works at Bonnaroo, Tyler and Samantha, uh, Tyler kept bringing us cold waters, ah. and I was just, uh, dude, I, we were Josh Adam Myers and all those guys, and, and Josh is clean, so he yeah. didn't do anything, but he watched me, and I was like, feeling every emotion, I was like, this is so great! I hope we're, I hope that's your memory, and it's you, I was like, and everyone stood in a circle while Sol- Soda rolled around the ground going, <laughs> help me, help me! The bugs are under my fingernails. I want to die. <laughs> it was so great. It was honestly one of my favorite moments of drugs. All right, ever. I'll do Molly mm. with you guys. Case closed. Mikey. It was, yeah, I'm bud. serious. Thanks, Thanks for, for hanging out with this, me, buddy. Of course, anytime. That was a blast. Go check out Mike Fenoya recording his album at the Vermont Comedy Club November 11th and 12th. You can check him out at Mike Fenoya. That's F-I-O-N-I-A. No, you're F-I-N-O-I-A. so wrong. I try going off the comedy. Uh, two shows a night. Make sure you check that out. Uh, it's going to be fucking awesome. Dan Soder is going to be in Long Island Friday, October 21st at McGuire's and Saturday, October 22nd at Governor's. Get your tickets at DanSoder.com. And if you're out in the Dallas area, Tejas, go check out Dan at Hyenas November 3rd through the 5th. Get tickets at HyenasComedyNightClub.com. Big J is going to be at the Funny Bone Virginia Beach the 21st through the 23rd and then right in the neighborhood at the Stress Factory uh, October 27th through October 29th. Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets and then also go get your tickets for the second season of What's Your Fucking Deal for NBC's uh, CISO at the Bitter End. That's going to be in New York City November 6th through the 10th. Get tickets at BigJComedy.com for that and of course follow us at the Bonfire SXM Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We're going to be back on Wednesday Get our specials, show. blah, 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 all that Special, nonsense. We love you. We love you. Uh, see you on Oh, and we can't wait to talk Later about the Corey Feldman performance. Everyone, enjoy. Crackle, 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 crackle. It's the bonfire. Crackle, crackle, crackle.